is, it is right that the son does not know what the father does. But he's telling you that it's going to happen. And he says, it's going to happen when you see the fig tree rebirth. Yeah. Now it says here in verse 38, For in that day before the flood, people will be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two will be in the field. One will be taken and the other one left. Does that not sound like the Tim Brooks uh, uh, pride room? Does that not sound like a parable? Yeah. One will be taken and the other one's left. And then you don't have to get into the Greek to tell you what the word taken means. It means be taken from yourself to yourself. And how can that happen unless you're taken from a body that's going to die to a body that's resurrected? Amen. So, God is letting us know, look, an event's going to happen in the world that one will be taken and the other one's left. Then a seven year period will start, and when that seven year period is over, my son will return with his church and will reign and rule Amen. on the earth for a thousand years. Amen. Wonderful plan. Yeah. So what are we letting you know? You want short time. And God's not going to tolerate your prayer of, oh dear Lord, will you please be tolerant with my profanity? I need your tolerance. Be tolerant, Lord. He's not married to me, but he is my boyfriend. And we love each other. And we're going to get married someday. But in our hearts, you know we're married. <laughs> Dear Lord, tolerate us, please. God said, tell them the answer to their prayer is no. It will not be tolerated. You will wake up understanding that it will not be tolerated. Amen. So let's prepare ourselves for the kingdom. Prepare yourself for the kingdom by Shama. Hear and obey. Christ said the only way you can, I can even tell that you love me is that you hear me and you obey me. You try to dim and dab in sin and still be in Christ is a waste of his time yeah. and yours. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. It's a waste of both of your time. And Jamaica said it last week, and she probably said it too hardcore for some people, but I'm telling you, if you don't really want to do this, that's right. don't fake it. Man, that's another good word for you. Don't fake it, man. If you ain't into it, stop. I mean, everybody act like, okay, y'all, y'all went to Garden I mean, uh, Orange County High School. But y'all know what I mean. You ain't in this step, man. You don't want to be in that step. Right. But don't stay here trying to be, you know, a church member. Like they're going to be in heaven and go, um, the angel is now calling all our church members <laughs> who are obedient. You may enter on it. You're not even going to be there. I'm looking for people, the Lord says, that love my word enough that by Sunday they've already read so much that they're hyped to keep the church. Hallelujah. I'm looking for people that have prayed so much during the week yeah. that by Sunday, they're excited to be in church. Yeah. I'm looking for people that actually love me yeah. and not people that want to be church members. Right. Yeah. So let's prepare ourselves because we're living in a dangerous year. And when the trumpet sounds, I know you want to hear it. And then, that rich man that you met, even though you didn't love him, but now you've learned to love him, he can now say, here's the mansion. Do you love me? And you can look Christ in his face and say, you know I love you. And you need a heart. Praise God. Amen.